Today, we've got an unbelievable tale that will leave you questioning the security of one of the biggest banks in Australia. Strap in, because this is the story of Dan Saunders and the ATM glitch that made him a millionaire. Welcome to Money.TV, a channel dedicated to entrepreneurs who risked it all to create today's most iconic brands. Let's get started. Dan Saunders, a name that was once synonymous with the laid-back charm of Wongaratta, in Victoria's northeast bustling streets, found himself at the center of a tale that would defy belief. Born and raised in the heart of Australia, Dan led a modest life as a barman, earning an honest living and reveling in the simple pleasures of life. His days were filled with casual banter, pouring drinks, and sharing laughter with friends. Little did he know that fate had a different plan for him. All right, let's rewind the clock to that fateful day when it all began. One fateful night, Dan Saunders found himself on a nocturnal adventure, attempting to check his account balance at a National Australia Bank ATM. However, a bizarre message echoed back. Balance unavailable at this time. Intrigued and fueled by a sense of curiosity, Dan decided to probe further. He initiated a simple transfer of $200 from his credit account to savings, only to witness the ATM defiantly declare, transaction cancelled, before abruptly returning his card. Perplexed but undeterred, Dan, in a mix of tipsiness and boredom, decided to conduct an impromptu experiment. Returning to the bar, he mulled over the odd encounter. Later, as he strolled past the same ATM, he couldn't resist the urge to test its quirks. Initiating a transfer of $200, the machine surprisingly complied. Emboldened, Dan pushed the envelope, testing the boundaries of this unexpected magic trick. $500, $600, the amounts escalated, and the ATM seemed to play along, transforming a routine night into a mysterious adventure that would soon propel Dan into the realm of unintended opulence. The next morning, Dan awoke to the surreal realization that his knock Eternal ATM adventure wasn't a dream, the money sat snugly in his wallet. Perplexed but undeniably thrilled, he decided to investigate further. Upon checking his savings account balance, he discovered a peculiar twist, a $2,000 debt. It dawned on him that there existed a lag between the ATM transactions and the updated bank balance. A light bulb moment struck him a simple transfer every night between his credit and savings accounts, executed between 1 and 3 in the morning when ATMs typically went offline, could effectively cover any expense. In this unique dance between timing and technology, Dan had unwittingly stumbled upon a way to create money, setting the stage for a clandestine financial escapade that would defy logic and transform his ordinary life into an extraordinary saga of unintended wealth. Embocking on this unexpected financial odyssey, Dan wasted no time in testing the limits of his newfound glitch. On the initial day, he boldly spent $2,000, only to realize that the system lag required a strategic move to keep his balance from lingering in the negative. So, on the second day, he executed a $4,000 transfer during the witching hours when ATMs dozed off. The transfer would go through, then reverse 24 hours later. Seizing the opportunity, Dan played a cat and mouse game with the system, perpetually staying one step ahead to maintain the illusion of millions. A visit to the bank left him dumbfounded when they nonchalantly informed him that his balance had soared to a staggering $1 million. It was a surreal dance of numbers on a digital screen, oscillating like yo-yos in a mesmerizing display of financial alchemy. Feeling invigorated by this newfound power, Dan generously allocated a chunk $1,000 or so to the joint account with his missus. The bar, too, enjoyed the windfall as rounds were shouted with an air of newfound opulence. The ability to manipulate account balances with a mere keystroke proved intoxicating. Dan, like a modern-day caveman discovering fire, found himself captivated by the allure of his financial wizardry. For the subsequent four and a half months, Dan embarked on a daring daily escapade, consistently pushing the boundaries of his accidental windfall. Remarkably, neither the bank nor law enforcement intervened to halt his audacious exploits. Immersing himself in a lavish lifestyle, Dan spared no expense, indulging in opulent hotels, private jet escapades, exquisite dining experiences, and acquiring high-end fashion that would typically be beyond his means. At times, he would waltz into a bar and, with an exuberant gesture, shout at the entire establishment. What fueled Dan's adventures wasn't merely the accumulation of wealth. It was the pursuit of extraordinary experiences afforded by this magical ATM card. The bank's unwitting offering resembled one of those choose-your-own adventure books, where each day brought a new chapter in the saga of his improbable riches. Uncertain of how long this charmed existence would persist, Dan anticipated the imminent end every day. However, the anticipated reckoning never materialized, prompting him to 
resolved to continue his surreal journey until the bank inevitably intervened a conclusion that, surprisingly, remained elusive. Despite confessing to the bank and being in debt, Dan managed to scam the nab of $1.6 million without facing any consequences. The surreal journey of wealth accumulation prompted Dan to confront a fundamental question. Who was he becoming in this unexpected narrative? Was he the laid-back Dan from Australia, or did he risk turning into a character from a disappearing act in a movie, leaving his family in the lurch with unexplained millions? Haunted by these existential musings, he grappled with a sense of responsibility. The fear of vanishing without a trace weighed heavily on him. He couldn't follow leaving his family in a precarious position. Despite this internal struggle, Dan chose not to involve the police initially. Instead, he abruptly halted the nightly transfers and took matters into his own hands. In June and July of 2011, he just stopped doing the transfers and contacted the bank. They told him, it's a police matter now we can't talk to you. They will contact you. You're in a lot of trouble and that was it. Undeterred, Dan was prepared to surrender the ill-gotten gains, expressing his readiness to part with $80,000 stashed in a Hilton laundry bag. Yet, the anticipated reckoning never arrived. For two long years, science prevailed, leaving Dan in a state of limbo, unable to move forward. The unresolved tension lingered in the recesses of his mind, leaving him to ponder a perplexing question, who walks away with such ill-gotten gains, only to face no consequences. Haunted by guilt and anxiety, Dan sought solace by confiding in a psychiatrist about his extraordinary predicament. The initial encounter left him frustrated when the first mental health professional claimed inadequacy, asserting, I'm not qualified to do this. Persevering, Dan eventually found a more understanding therapist who, while refraining from directing his actions, suggested that turning himself in could be a crucial step in assuaging guilt and facilitating personal growth. In a bid to resolve the turmoil within, Dan took a bold step he reached out to media outlets, starting with the Herald Sun and subsequently engaging with several others, including a televised interview on a current affair. It took three print stories and a national TV appearance to garner the attention his confessions deserved. Entering the courtroom, Dan braced for an anticipated legal thrashing, but the proceedings took a surreal turn. The judge and prosecutor struggled to grasp the intricacies of his actions, leaving the courtroom adorned with perplexed expressions. With minimal evidence provided by the bank, the case boiled down to a simplistic bad Dan, copper wax scenario. Pleading guilty, he received a one-year sentence, later granted release on an 18-month community corrections order. Returning to the mundane reality of a bar, where he earned $22 an hour, proved to be a stark contrast to his fleeting life of opulence. The transition forced Dan to grapple with the stark juxtaposition between being a millionaire and an ordinary bartender. Faced with the temptations that once lured him into a realm of financial wizardry, he discovered the ease with which one could lose their true self. This story raises important questions about the security of our financial systems. What lessons can we learn from Dan's daring adventure? and how can banks better protect themselves from such glitches in the future. The tale of Dan Saunders and the ATM glitch is a roller coaster of highs and lows, reminding us that even the most unsuspecting individuals can find themselves caught in the web of unexpected circumstances. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. The ATM glitch that made a millionaire. Be sure to leave a like and comment below on what you loved about our video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss another great video. Until next time we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember no dream is too big.